Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. It is a new year and a new time to put concealer on my face and head down. I hope I have some concealer on me. If not, I'll go get some. And head down to claim my prize. We stayed up late because it was uh, New Year. And we stayed up late to watch the fireworks. Ooh, fishy. Ah, ah. Damn, that's strong. Meow. No kitty, bad kitty. This is soup for the monsters. Get out of here. Hey, she's cooking in the monster soup. With the fish I got. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, is this the duck? I think we've met the duck. Yes. Hi, hi. Hey, big ducky. Over here. I got some food for you. Eat as much as you want. <laughs> Elsie, get away quick. Elsie. Oh, no. You get off my ranch. It's outside, duck boy. <laughs> Uh, for once, Coop is being useful. Gosh dang, Rutabaga, you get away from my wife! Stop it! Pa, Ma's hurt! Ma? Ma? Quick, get to pants. Take my hand. That's the most important thing right now. She's hurt and she needs to be... She needs to be taken to the doctor. Come on, Mabel. Let's go see the doc. I'm coming too. You done enough, Missy. Just wait for me to get back. Uh, oh, it hurts. Okay. Uh, I think now that that has been done, we're gonna uh, 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 check my inventory. See if I've got any concealer, which I do. Why well, we've got Yakmel milk on my hot bar and not concealer, I don't know. Right. And now we need to head. Where are we? Oh yeah, just behind. Um now we need to head to the commerce skills. I pick up my prize for being the best of beating Yan yet again. I'm hoping I can hand in my quest as well. I'm hoping he's uh, remembered who he is. Yan, do you remember who you are? Ah. Oh. That's super annoying. Alright then, let's go. Subordinates, looks like not all of you made it. Nevertheless, it is fortuitous some of you are indeed here to witness our prestigious ceremony. <clears throat> Let's just cut to the chase. You builders have all carried out numerous tasks, picked up commissions, done, uh, things. Many of which were menial and unfulfilling. Some of them, I assume, were helpful to our city in some way. Yes. But one of you stood out among the rest. Me. One of you went above <laughs> and beyond the call of duty and built more buildier than any builder has ever built before. <laughs> er, uh, in the last year. It is with great pleasure I, President Yan, on behalf of the Commerce Guild, hereby present the esteemed award for Workshop of the Year. And the award goes to... What, what, what the? I thought I... What, what is this word? This isn't my name. How do I even pronounce this? She love. Hey, that's you. You won. Go get your award. Hey. We have seen this cutscene before, though. It's always funny to snatch the trophy off Yan, though. I love it every single year. And this is what we work for, peeps. This is what we work for. I will have to display that in my house when I can be bothered to make my house look nice. 
Alright, alright, yeah. Ah. Nope, still can't interact, still can't hand that in. Mian! You did it, incredible, seems like only yesterday we were learning the ropes, now you've won a workshop of the year. The student has become the master. I wanted to give you, um... Hmm. Iron pick hammer. Oh, thank you. Oh. Alright, next we go over by Mount Rock Sand. I found a place I think no one will bother with. You ready to go? Let me know and we'll head out. Okay. Mount. It's rock. It's. That's hilarious. They called it Mount Rock Sand because that was the uh, name they pretended they were going to give the game. For, for April Fools. You ready? Alright, let's go. Alright, let's just go. Alright, this is the spot. I put our stuff inside. Mine included a few builder materials following in Hicks' tradition. I also included some historical records, as well as some of the best literature we New World people have produced, including a copy of my favorite episode of Doyle Arthur! For my personal item, well, I thought it'd be good to take a picture of us together. Oh, that's a really cute idea! I mean, because, well, it didn't seem fair not knowing what Hicks looked like. They should know what the two builders of Sandrock looked like. Otherwise, our story doesn't mean as much. Don't you think? I think Here, you're right. We can use my camera. Interesting. This is how the cameras work. Finally, I find out. <laughs> okay, this is like way cooler than. I like in flight better. Let's do a smile. Oh, you can make them look at the camera more. That's really, I like that. They can look where they're looking or they can look at the camera. And that looks so much nicer. I like that. Okay, look at us. We look like pros. <laughs> well, I do. You look like an idiot because you did that stupid flying pose, but you know. <laughs> you didn't really, Mian. Don't worry. Oh, I guess we should write a letter too, huh? That was the most interesting part of Hicks's box. What should we write about? Hope for the environment. Ah, of course. Nature is the most valuable resource we have. Even if we could uncover all the secrets of the old world, it wouldn't mean a thing if we didn't have a place to live. I'll write about that. Okay, everything's ready. Let's give our time capsule a proper send-off. Okay. I haven't even been to my house yet. We're like 10 well, minutes in. that's that. Hmm. I can only imagine one day there'll be other people opening up our time capsule, reading our letter, and being transported back to our time. How... totally cool. I guess this is my way of telling to the world that I was here, that I existed, and I'm doing my best. Whew. Also, I put a latch on our box to make it way easier to open. Thanks again. It's so nice to have someone who shares my interests here in town. I'll let you know if I dig up anything else cool. Fantastic. Mian relationship, plus 50. Wonderful. I'm wanting to try really hard with the pets. Apparently it is two hearts, two stars, two whatevers, to um, get them to be your pet. So, the closest one, I think Nemo, I've still got to do a bit with, and Banjo is also at the acquaintance level. So, if I give them, like, probably another 10 presents or so each, I could probably get those two to be my friends. Um, Macchiato will take longer. Deputy Captain, I don't think can actually be a pet, nor can X, because I think he's already, um, the pet for the, uh, for the, uh, what are they called? Ah! You know, Deputy and everyone. No, not Deputy. Justice and Co. He's Justice's cat, basically. <laughs> X is Fang's cat. Sandy doesn't really belong to anyone. 
She's just like her own dude. Yep. Uh, I think Coco can be a pet as well, but I haven't really found much to... Uh, I don't see Coco enough, and when I do, I don't have anything on me for Coco, so... I need to work on that, definitely. Uh, I need to work on Ryan as well. Ryan and Fang, gosh. I'm forgetting all the time um, to, on Fridays and Wednesdays to go and do the potion thing with him. But if I could, I expect Fang's the sort of character where once he warms up to you, once you get past that first heart or two, uh, it's a lot easier to get the rest, but I'm not sure. I don't think he even starts to accept presents from you for the, for the first bit. Right, so where are we? In the middle of the desert somewhere. Oh, okay, we're here. I would like to go back to my workshop and read my mail, if nothing else. So we're just going to take the... Uh... I don't even have a horse up here. Mian's already walking back. So I am going to overtake her, and uh, we're going to go and read my mail because there'll probably be um, a present for me for winning the for winning the competition for the best builder. Try not to get run over by the train. Oh, well, here's Coco. Okay, like Coco. Coco. What stuff do you like? You like lots of stuff. Uh, mostly stuff I don't have. Avocado. Rhino horn seeds, rib meat. I might have some of those. Jute cantaloupe seeds. Like quite a lot of se different seeds, actually. Everyone likes shiny scorpions, but I never have shiny scorpions to to give. So, all right, back in the game. And Coco has gone. See, in the time it took me to look at what Coco liked, Coco has gone. Okay, I just left Fang's clinic, and apparently a resting heartbeat of 140 is not considered ordinary. He has suggested I cut down my caffeine intake. So I will not be using the new Express Tea Maker anymore. I am saddened. Thank you for your work anyway. Gee. That doesn't surprise me. I used to have a resting heart rate of, like, nearly 100 when I was a lot younger. Um, as slowed as I've gotten older. But... Yeah, it was a bit fast for for what it should have been. I think I think it's nicer. It's set to about eighty now, which is a lot better. Okay, so the Super Duke Collector blueprints are done. Lovely. Maybe we should make one of those. Uh, in a remarkable turn of events, it seems you clutched the number one spot for workshop ratings last month. You even managed to best me, Yan, president of the Commerce Guild. Don't worry, I'm taking it very well. I'm not resentful in the slightest. I will of course have a committee looking into how you managed to achieve this just to make sure everything's on the level. But until then, enjoy the spoils of victory. And that's despite the fact you tried to cheat by not accepting my quest back. Stupid yam. So I've got a thousand goals, 50 commerce badges, which I never spend on anything, but I will do when I when I do up my yard. Okay. I uh, saw you walking around the other day and I was aghast. Let me be frank, the sun has not been kind to your skin, darling. Is this from Pablo? Oh, it's nice that he like likes me enough to give me presents, but wow, burn. <laughs> I guess that's what did that to my skin, but anyway. Uh, and if I can be franker, you kind of looking like a piece of jerky right now, but don't fret, this skin cream will get you back to your usual glowing self. Thanks, Pablo. You're a joy. There's nothing in the delivery box right now. I probably need to go and uh, renew my order then, I'm guessing. Probably have needed to for ages and just haven't noticed. Now, I'm pretty sure there was stuff in there last time I went to the box, so... I clearly haven't uh, cleaned up Doodle's poos in around a million years as well. And do they have food? Yes. Does lightning have food? Hmm. And Sambri's in there, that's fine. Just doesn't look like there's much food in there. Okay! Oh no, there's Coco. Right, so... 
cocoa liked. Do I have any like seeds on me? Like chestnut seeds and things. I need to be carrying amber around with me as well because all the cats like amber. The meerkat likes certain ores like chromium ore and things like that I think. Uh, yeah I've got some chromium ore. So chromium ore would be good for... That's a present for the meerkat. It's a present for the cats. Any fish is also a present for the cats. I think X likes gold. Also aluminium ore, I think. No, it might not be. Well, those will be enough for now, anyway. Oh, furniture chest. Open to see what's inside. I should do that. Let's have a look. I unlocked uh, a new furniture style elegant armchair. Nice. My golden builder award trophy. I can put that along with the other things. I'll keep it there for now. The cocoa has completely gone though. I'm just going to I'm just going to do a quest. I kind of want to have a look at who, who I'm friends with and stuff and see if there's anybody that I particularly need to be friends with or anything like that. Me and Elsie are getting along now. They're my proper buds now. Crystal's nearly my bud and Mabel's nearly my bud and Pablo is my bud. Cool. Like most people have like a decent liking with me. Jan is like... <sighs> gonna be hard work I think I gotta give him certain presents and things but I don't know whether like getting to know him better earlier in the game will have a di will make a difference I should maybe try and do that next time I don't know why I'm here uh, I'm looking at missions so uh, we've got the minecart we need to install it we need to hand that in but we can't can't do that right now, but we could go and fight Bogan Jack. And I think he might be on the left side of the Shonash cliff. Okay, let's go and do the minecarts. I think that's going to be the best thing to do next. And we'll pick up any commissions that look good. So, petrified wooden boards for Heidi. It's always good. It's always good to get a thousand plus. A jewelry processing machine for a mirror. See, as much as that isn't a high level quest, it seems like it's a really good reward for it, so I'm gonna take that. And then you know what? I ne I rarely take quests for Mabel. I actually take more for Hugo. And then I could take that one uh, for Heidi or I could take that one. I'm going to take the Chromium Steel Bar one for Hugo. Oh no. It says regular commissions 3 out of 4 but I guess I'm guessing that uh, one of them is counting as the one that I can't hand in to Yan. I'm really annoyed by that. I'm like hoping he'll get better and I can hand that in to him at some point. This is where he doesn't get better until I finish the stuff with race or something. Yeah, I'm going to pick the water up out of these dew collectors as well. So I want to make a super dew collector as well for the yard because I neglect this yard a lot. But first we're going to go to the mine Because I have decided that's what we're going to do. Don't let me forget, Super Dew Collector. Right, so I think it's down here. Somewhere. Mm. I don't know if I can go that way or if I have to go that way.
Oh well, I'll try this way, and if I can't go this way, I'll go the other way. I'll work it out. Somehow. Tumbleweed! Guys, that's just rude. Come on. Rude. What's in here? There's a cave. Food melted. Time saved. Double F. to be in here? Probably not. Alright. Gotta we'll be so specific with this duster sometimes. There we go. Got anything in it? No, apparently not. Box. Yeah. Can't smash anything. That looks more likely, maybe. I am what is commonly known as doing an explore right now. don't seem to open. Data disks? Alright then. Okay, I can't spend all day cleaning. I might come back here another time. I can find my way out. I think this is the way out. I should remember this is here though. Come back. But I do want to play it. I want to get these minecarts done and it's going to take me forever otherwise. Where's lightning? dead end where am i going got to remember down here then around the other way which we did think was a possibility so not very good at finding my way around here come on up you go Lightning. 
I'm sorry about all of this. may need to go that way actually I don't know do we go down that way or do we go around this way I have no idea how to get to here I didn't think this would be the hardest part of this quest but it clearly is I'm sure that it was something about across here and then round and that was where the mines were I will ignore the snakes. I will ignore all the stuff on the ground as well. Oh, they've really done a nice job here, haven't they? It's looking a lot nicer. Alright. Can't go in there, though. Take the road back. Um, 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 um. Let me think. I couldn't go any further than that. Going around that way is probably not going to do me any good either. So yeah, let's go back to home and then we'll go around the other way. Level 37, Desert Viper. Might have to do this tomorrow at this rate. We are not having a good time of it finding where to go. So my guess is Valley of Whispers. I might still be able to make it. Let's try. We've still got a few hours. This is why you make all of your stops. <laughs> make all of your yakmel stops. For when things like this happen. Alright, so... Go past the rocky and roads. Rocky and rolls, sorry. Into the canyon, I'm, I'm figuring. I hope this is the right way. Down through here. Quick look at the map. No idea how to get to these to these ruins. I uh, I do feel rather dumb for not being able to find them, but I'm I'm wondering if any of the rest of you found them difficult to find, or if it's just me being me. That seems like a dead end. Do I need to go this way? Or do I need to somehow get around the back there? This is what I do not know. Well that, my friends, is an invisible wall. That I'm not super stuck on. So that's definitely not the way then. I am so sorry, Lightning. Mm. 
I get the impression this might not be the way either. Maybe I was right the first time. I just don't know. This is so annoying. It's the same way I just came, so that's no good either. I'm going around in circles at this point. Like the map is so unhelpful with what will actually block you and what won't. I? So I'm guessing maybe grey structures don't block you in the same way. So maybe I do need to come back around uh, the abandoned ruins and go through that way. It's either that or go the other way up at the Rockium Roads. Sorry about this, guys. I am normally not the best at finding my way in games, but I don't usually get this thoroughly lost. So I'm thinking maybe if we go up around this way. I just want to get out of aggro range at least. Can we go around here? See that? That's the way. Okay. So you can't tell off the map properly which ways are blocked and which ways aren't. Which ways have a way through. So that has a way through. And so I imagine I can get to the mole cave from here somehow. I think if I played uh, the, the mole quest a little bit more recently, it would have been easier to find this, but it's been a long time since I did the mole quest. So. And also when I did the mole quest, I remember now. Actually, no, that wasn't the goat, was it? See, is it down here? No, I need to be going to my right. So up there. Oh, it's so late. I'm gonna pass out at this rate, just finding it. But we'll come back tomorrow. I'll stick more concealer on and we'll come back. <laughs> That's the answer to all life's problems. Stick more concealer on and come back later. Kind of interested, could I have gotten around this way somehow? Can I look get into town from here? Ooh. It's getting late, you should rest. I wish I could, but I keep getting lost in the desert. That is not a good thing. Right, well it's past one now, so I may as well just pass out and try again in the morning. But I, I know which way to go now. Whoa! I'm glad my horse is more sensible than I am. So the mole cave is somewhere around there. thing going on here so the way to get to the mole cave you go under at the rocky and roads you go round all the way down here and then you come down there however there might be a way through the back of the abandoned ruins but I uh, the you found a salvage 
Band of Ruins uh, might be a way through there somehow to that fishing spot. I do want to check that out. Um, it's well, I'm going to pass out in a minute, so I will have to come back, I think. As tempting as it is to go in there and start something, I don't want to start something an hour before. But I will be coming back first thing in the morning. I promise you. The Badlands. Ooh, this is a whole new area. Yeah, I don't think I can get past. So it looks like I should be able to get up here and go around here and then be able to get back to town. But I don't think you can. There's a fishing spot somewhere around here as well. Yeah, right, so that is the fishing spot. And a little cabin and stuff. Okay, that's me passed out for the day. Uh, and that was kind of what I was hoping to do because I was like, I don't, I don't want to ride all the way back there. So luckily, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry, Sheila. It's not been good times, has it? Also, I need to check how long I've got on all these commissions. You're behind Ooh. over here. What's going on? Ah, uh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Let's go home. You ain't got a say in this one. I got a bone to pick with you. I thought you building folk were supposed to be good people. Color me surprised when I find out you've been helping Elsie with her shenanigans. Yeah, but normally Mian does, and she's also a builder, so go be mean to her. <laughs> Mian's catching it for me today for some reason. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize this would happen. Oh, I know you groveling. Couple of words ain't gonna solve this one, no sorry. Come on, Pa. It was all my idea. I was the one that got him to get the book. I've been telling you, they ain't done nothing. Shut your mouth, Missy. I ain't done yet. You, you're gonna stay away from my daughter. You hear? And Elsie, they're a bad influence on you. I forbid you from seeing them anymore. Oh, no. But, but, Pa. Did I stutter? No, you never stutter. You just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Uh, uh, you done nothing wrong. I know. Uh, you can't tank this old. I'm done. Mine had her meds. I'm heading back. Hey, I'm sorry. Get back here, girl. Cooper, you're so annoying. And another thing. Kids right. these days got no respect. Back in my day, ain't no one dare go against elders or risk the boot. And you had an onion on your belt as well, I'm sure. Heck, if I lied to my paw, I'd be running laps around Sandrock in my undies till daybreak. And with three brothers, seven cousins twice removed, thrice removes, and uh, two returning, None of them dared speak I that And you probably went uphill to school and uphill on the way back. I'm a saint compared to my old man. <laughs> I, if any of us break the rule, we'd have to go fishing. <laughs> Dang, I still get shaken when I see a trap. Ooh, fishing ain't sounding bad, but we ain't allowed to Ooh. come back to a kind of chuchinoco. <laughs> All right, I'm Where done. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> This is how you treat people? No respect, I swear. Okay, because I've done the keep listening thing. They they really push it yeah, with the keep listening thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on. So. Is there any way I can hand in a free commission without... Handing it into Yan. I 
I'm sure some people said that you can like sometimes hand them in at the actual board itself. I just don't know. I'll have a look. It's never I've never managed to do that myself, but I don't see where there would be a place to hand it in. No, I think I'm going to have to hand it into him. It's really annoying me and it annoys me that I've done the work on it and I can't hand it into him. Ah. He's in his house at the moment. Oh, while we're here, let's see if we can get this to work again. Seemingly still no joy with that one. don't know what the deal is I will keep coming back and checking on it every so often in case I get it could be just getting the right circumstances it could just need a reload I'm really not sure nah he's not in it must be uh, must be Heidi in Vivi's shop maybe me to hand in for no it's not it's, it's down here oh it's, it's him all right so I don't have any of the stuff done for the rest of the commissions I get anything for Coco? I just no, I didn't, did I? I keep seeing this is the thing, I keep seeing Coco, and I'm like, I'll give him something, and then I'm like, but I didn't get anything out to give them. Ah, no. It is fine though. I am going back. there's absolutely no point in going th like this is such a short ride up here it's just not even worth it I must be like the the closest to my workshop one of those okay so we're gonna go and see the moles Actually, before we do that, because I'm so paranoid, I'm going to make sure that none of my missions... Except for that stupid one for Yan. Are going to run out in any time soon. Which they're not, so that's fine. <laughs> happened to me a couple of times that I've, ne I've either been caught out or nearly been caught out by timed quests. So I have to be like really careful now. Uh, and I'm getting a bit paranoid about it, to be quite honest. Right, so now we know the way. Yes. Um, it's up here. I hope I'm not taking some massive long way around. We are going to go and have an adventure with the moles now. Maybe that will that will redeem me from my explorations yesterday. <laughs> okay, so we're here. I'm going to parkour on down. And I'm going to install the minecart. 
Amazing, it looks so sturdy. I don't know if we've made something so industrious before. Uh, more and more, my beautiful mare, it is only with your expertise and generosity that this was made possible at all. The mole, sorry, this mole's heart is filled with such feelings. <laughs> I love that there's a little French mole, it's so cute. Well, it was really all our builder here, Shelab. Of course, my good constructor. You have not only saved our kingdom once, but now have provided us with a path towards the future. Zimir, her kindness rivals that of even Mon Princess Lumi. It is possible I have feelings for another? Why do I always go for the good girls? <laughs> so cute. Lumi! What's going on here? Ah, princess, this is uh, awkward. Well, with the mayor here. Oh, you must be Princess Lumi. We've just finished installing the mine system. How wonderful, so we can finally start working towards a brighter future. Yes, my princess. You can now watch over us. We'll be working in your honour to bring our home, sorry, our little home to prosperity. Watch over? What can I do to help? Nothing, princess. You can watch while we bring you wealth and lift themselves from poverty. Nonsense. I'm not willing to sit by and watch my friends toil for my benefit. No, I'm going to join and work side by side with the moles. This is like an alternative ending to, to Snow White. Because like she stayed home and did all the housework while the uh, the the dwarves went out to work in the mines. But Lumi's going to work in the mines. <laughs> Go on, Lumi. <laughs> but Princess, I'm not going to be like my stepmother, Ged, Jed. Sorry. I need to be a real leader, like the mayor here. Oh, stop. My princess, you're even more inspiring than ever before. And though I am dubious, your poofy dresses shall serve you well in the mines. I can promise that I shall serve you, I shall serve you well in the mines. Thank you, Shelab. Our people owe you our lives. If you ever need our services, please don't be afraid to pop by. Mission complete, obtained reward, flaming action boots. I have to know what flaming action boots are. Look at me with an entire thing of inventory still to go. Uh, right, flaming action boots. Where have they gone? Uh, there they are. Level 40. Gear. Yeah. Lightweight, sturdy boots made of strong materials. Flame coloured, anti slip, wear resistant, and extra comfy. Stamina plus 10, endurance plus 25, maximum HP increase plus 2.5%. Nice. So what have I got on right now? I've got level 37 boots. I'm level 38. I'm really close to level 39. So I've got one level to go, pretty much. And I will be able to wear those boots. Wonderful! I mean, I'm allowed to go in here now. Yay, I can. So, let's have a little look and see if we can find white copper in here. Aluminium. Magnesium. Nickel. Sworn it said that I would get white copper here. I will go back and double check um, what is needed to get white copper. But we can now get uh, magnesium and aluminium out of that mine, which is wonderful, and a, a varied amount of different things. Looks like there's stuff down there I can explore. Is it just a dead end? I'm trying to see if it's a dead end before I go down there. It is indeed a dead end. Oh, nice! There is a... Uh, I can install a... Yakmel stop there. Very nice. Oh, I think my cat is at the door. No! Stop it. Thing is, I would, I, I would 
I know, I love you too. I would not let her in, but she destroys my carpet otherwise. Absolutely destroys it. Mm. Right, we need to get out of the badlands now. Hopefully the cat will take the hint. <laughs> if she doesn't, oh well. But what I would like to do, um, if you don't mind me riding back and forward one more time, is to go and make that yakmel stop. So I won't get lost coming down here again, because this is a pain. This is a pain in the butt. And I would rather not have to come back and forward all the time down here. So, Well, that was cool. We got at least one major quest off our list, which is really good. And uh, we're getting further with that duck quest as well. But um, what I need to do is try and get on with the mirror bot quest uh, to push things forward. And I can't do that without white copper. And I am struggling to work out where I'm supposed to be getting it. So I will double check. I thought it was the mole cave. I think I am being slightly mistaken on that one. I am actually going to use this stop. Because I am getting a bit fed up of riding my horse right now. <laughs> Lightning's going to run out of stamina at this rate. Too much riding. But yeah, I want to immediately make a uh, Yakmel stop so that I don't go past there again without it in my inventory at least. So let's just do that as as the priority. And then I will look for what what is going on with this white copper. Okay, so uh, it's not technically a machine. Yakmel stick. Oh. No. Yakmel station. Sample. Rough cloth. Yay. Of course I don't have something. Rough cloth, at rubber shell, bronze stick. Okay, four rough cloth, rough cloth, which I can't say, and four uh, bronze sticks. Okay, luckily I can make those. Also, I need some hardened leather. I also need to go and see Chi and get something going there. Um, that will that will be enough to remind me what I'm doing at least. So the cell I need, the power cell, I need white copper from an industrial furnace, copper nickel alloy. Was it me or was it nickel that was in the? It was aluminium and magnesium and nickel so i think the white copper is actually is in the mole caves the nickel comes from the mole caves that's what it is okay so we need to ride back all that way again I, again i will use the the uh, stops no we don't we don't need to do that until the acmel stop is ready g lab oh no i'm getting i'm getting clawed no! No, Tilly! Okay, I'll be right back. So what else am I doing at the moment? Let's have a little look. Add my missions! So, we are working on the power cell. Can't hand that in. Can't do that. Could go and find and defeat Bogan Jack. Need to make petrified wooden boards, which is also kind of out in the desert. Jewelry processing machine we can't make until we've made the Yakmel station. And the hardened leather is actually already being made. So the only thing I've actually got to do at the moment, really, other than trying to get that quest to work, which it won't, is to see where Bogan Jack is. And he said it were, he was to the right of the Shonash Bridge or something. Let me check. Right of the left of Shonash Cliff. Okay, well, we can go fight him. It's 
So where is Shone Ashcliff? It might be it might be this side here. Well that's all opened up now as well. What counts as Shone Ashcliff? That's Mount Rock Sand. That's the Shonash Bridge. I figure that must be Shonash, like, canyon. So the cliff must be, like, there, I figure. Oh, let's see if we can find him. I, I, it looks like it might be, he might be at, like, Elsie's spot, maybe, around that sort of area. I think Coco lives around here, actually. Either down here, or it's across the bridge and then to the left. No, I'm not sure where I am going to find him, to be honest with you. That might be down here somewhere. And to be fair, I've not actually been down here before, so it's kind of nice. I don't think he would be too far, right, would he? The map in this game is changing all the time as they put updates in. And it's actually pretty cool. I don't think I want to go across that bridge particularly. So I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll go across the Shonash Bridge and then to the left that way. He might be around there somewhere. He seems to quite often be in the desert across the bridge. So I shall see. And then we'll ride out to the mole caves and uh, I'll put the Yakmel stop down there and then we never have to ride there ever again. <laughs> Unless there's something in like in between. But other than that, we never have to ride there ever again. the left. They might be around here somewhere. In fact, I haven't even tracked the quest. The, if I track the quest, it might give me a bit more information about where it is. Let's see. Find and defeat. So finding is part of it, I think. Unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Could be up here. See, my problem is I don't know what counts as shown Ashcliff. But if I've got to find him in the desert, this is going to be a nightmare. So my hope should be that he'd be close to the cliff somewhere. But you never know, he's a wily one, that, that kangaroo. I'm apparently not allowed to go any further that way. That just looks treacherous. So unless we go across the bridge, I don't see where else he would be. He's either going to be up that way to the left. So we'll have a little look around up here. But uh, other than that, I think he might be across the bridge. There might be a way to get us to go in that direction. But otherwise, it might be a case that I don't find him today. Because the, de the desert is a big place. It does get you to explore the desert as well. There's like a tripion nest around here. Let's 
something over there that's tall. It might just be a... Oh, I think it's him. I think we found him. Yes, we have. There he is. Hello. Well, well, well. If it ain't no fighty McFighting words, here's no, here no doubt looking for another fight. Got any last words? Perhaps some of the non-fighting variety for a change. Let's fight. I, had, I think he's going to take any words that I say is. Hit a man while he's down. The best way. Ah, nuts. You got lucky, mate. Forgot to move my face out of the way. That move you do. Pretty good move, yeah? But wouldn't have been so good if my face wasn't where it was. Was it? Lucked out again, didn't I? Seek me out one more time for a sick reward. Sick as, like I said. Okay. So that is... Uh, Bogan Jack's second fight. Done. Hopefully you get a really sick reward. <laughs> that sounds wrong coming out of my mouth, doesn't it? Um, so... <laughs> we'll head back. Uh, I'll take the Yakmal st station this time. And I will see if my stuff is ready for the Yakmal station over at the copper mines. Uh, if it is, then hopefully that means it'll be a one-way trip because I'll be able to install it and then use it to get back immediately. So that'll be quite nice. I think I can do it this episode and then this episode will be the one full of loads of riding around and then hopefully we'll just get back to more normal stuff next episode. Right, so... Let's head back to the yard and let's see. And uh, the other thing I was going to say is I could go through the abandoned mines, but I don't think I will have time to do that. I will possibly have time to take the thing there, but that will be it. Alright, so there's my rough cloth. <laughs> I can't say the F and then the th next to each other it just seems so wrong it's a very good like uh it'd be a very good like tongue twister for singing wouldn't it all right so i need to like save all the time i can save here because i've got two hours to get this installed go shelab go Oh, there's another thing going on over there. Oh, man. I have to know now. See, that one works. You threw away Howlett's book? He respected you. And you are disrespected him. Yeah. What you talking about? Crying about some book? Your ma's sitting home with a broken arm, worrying and sick about you, while you continue to run out playing your stupid games, talking about being some monster hunter. Well, she's probably going to be better at it than Mabel. Uh. The ranch got a whole host of stuff needing done. You got responsibilities, missy. You can't just run around playing your dumb games anymore. How will you face your mom? You... you don't understand, Pa. I'm trying to... This again? Gosh dang it. Stop with this nonsense, Elsie. Get your head out of the clouds before you hurt even more people, including yourself. Wow. Fine. Missy, I ain't finished talking. Just a dang book. What's gotten into her? Well, she's growing up, Cooper. She's growing up. That's what's gotten into her. Right. Now we have even less time. I just want to ride through your ranch.
I say, poor old lightning is going to run out of juice. So we just needed to try and get this. Uh, yeah, oh, Trudy has just managed to get back. <laughs> oh, I hate. It's such a shame when they have to walk and it takes them a million years to get back from places. I feel very sorry for them. Luckily now I know where I'm going, it should be a bit easier. I've got till 2 p uh, two a.m. Sorry. I'm wondering what that thing up there is. Um, got till 2 p.m. No, 2 a.m. Sorry, 2 in the morning to get to where we need to go, put the stop in and, and transport back. And that will be another day of bleary eyes, unfortunately. This seems to be a year of bleary eyes so far. Ever since the new year. I might be able to get back by one, but it'd be <laughs> that'd be really tight. It's possible if I just put the stop in and literally transport back, but I think it'll take probably a few minutes to do the transporting, so. Right, where was the stop down here? There we go, let's go home. So now I can teleport over there, which is going to just be so much easier. It'll be worth the bleary eyes, to be honest. And that was a really good episode, but we we got a lot done. I know that a lot of it was spent riding around looking for things, but we still got loads of stuff done, which I'm super happy about. Uh, we will get home just in time to not pass out, but still have bleary eyes. Okay, so I'm going to bed now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.